Okay, so we're still talking about lower back pain. This acupressure point is for pain directly on the on the tailbone, but also on the L5-S1 area as well. So sometimes you'll find some acupressure points that you've that you've pressed on the hand over time. You, you've worn them out or they start to get sore, you start to switch it up. So that's the reason why I'm giving you so di many different acupressure points. So you can do them in, uh, you can alternate, or you can do a little bit on the the hand and then the forearm and then the back of the head and then on the foot so you can actually alternate in rotation you can do one every a different set every day or you can do the whole thing in a routine as well the choice is yours but they should work and this point right here is directly for pain on the tailbone and also that l5 s1 area so this is one's fairly simple if um if you notice like over here right underneath your nose there's this area right here and this little uh, little funnel right here, that's actually called the philtrum. So what that is, is that actually, this area here relates to the lower back and the tailbone area as well. So it, it's really great for resuscitation as well. Something's, someone just fainted or passed out, of course you dial 911 first or uh, emergency in whichever country you are, but you can just easily just take your thumb and take the bed of your nail and you just press right here and you press about 15 to 30 seconds. If you have a tool, even better, right, just right in the middle. It doesn't have to be it, just the entire area. As soon, as long as you get it, and you just press that here. And this feels really, really uncomfortable. You hold that for 15 to 30 seconds. This one is also very effective for lower back pain.